admit it. When the 3D printing craze came on strong a few years ago, we all thought it was kind of cool. Because, I mean, who doesn't need another plastic Buddha? Well, it turns out that it's actually pretty amazing how far things have come in 3D printing. So if you lend me your ear, we can tell you all about it. And if I lose your ear, well, we can just print another one for you. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. 3D printing technology is spreading rapidly into many disparate avenues, including food, the fashion industry, and medical applications such as 3D printed prosthetic limbs. But doctors and researchers have also been working for over 14 years to do this. 3D print human body parts using living cells and a binding agent called BioInk. The parts, based upon a composite model of a patient's x-rays, are surgically implanted back into a patient's body with no risk of organ rejection. Dr. Anthony Atala, director of the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine, is one of the scientists blazing this new trail to help your body repair itself. The whole concept is you take a very small piece of tissue from the patient, you grow and expand the cells, create a three-dimensional construct, and put it back into the patient. I made my way to Winston-Salem, North Carolina to meet Dr. Atala and check out the innovative 3D printer that's changing the game in regenerative medicine. How do you work this? Well, you know, this is actually uh, one of the 3D printers that we have, and you can see the stage moving, and it's actually showing you the actual structure that's being printed, in this case, an ear. Wow. How do you get living cells into a printer? We actually grow and expand the cells for a few weeks. Once we know the cells are ready, we basically place the cells on these cartridges, and we then design the structure exactly to match what is needed in the patient. The 3D model structure is based upon an X-ray image, in this case, of the patient's ear. Original tissue cells are collected from a small biopsy. Okay, so I see the sharp inkjet. What exactly is it laying down here? Well, the, what you're seeing is the laying down of the cells and the bioink. Okay, so the bioink is sort of like a gel that hardens? The bioink is really like a glue, if you think about it that keeps all the cells together. You can actually see here, for example, the ear structures. Can I touch? Yes, you sure can. And you see it has the same properties as you would expect in an ear. Oh, wow. Not hard and brittle like I thought it would be. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same kind of elasticity that you'd wow. like to see. When 3D printed body parts made from living cells are implanted into a patient, the patient's own body takes over completing the reconstruction process naturally with no rejection. Dr. Tala's team has 3D printed pediatric ears, jaw bones, heart valves, even faces. When a patient gets injured, part of your identity is to make sure that you are reconstructed in as close as possible manner as you were before you had the injury. Dr. Tala has successfully implanted 3D printed parts in animals and is waiting for government approval to move forward with a human test case. And what could that mean for the future? 100 years from now and say, can you just at your home push a button and order your organ? Why not? You never know. In science, you never say never. And I'd never say never to a new nose. Mm, maybe not this one.